But what happens nowadays that a person within the family passes away and nobody had even bothered to speak to that individual who has passed and neither did they ever used to ask about him until that person passes away. And then all the family, they begin to come and they meet and they congreg congregate. And then they come to the house of the deceased, the deceased and his relatives. And they know that they're going to be having breakfast and lunch and dinner and it's all going to be free. And do you think that those same people, they are now congregating in order to weep over the deceased? It's only because of the free food and, and then to converse and speak about politics and other matters. And at the same time, smoking cigarettes. And then they sit there, talk and they say he was so beloved to us and now he's passed away. Is it only now that he has become beloved to you? Was he never beloved to you before when he was alive? And gathering in the house of the deceased is from the major sins because it is from Niyaha. And Niyaha was from the traits of Al Jahiliya, from the practices of Jahiliya. And, and because during Jahiliya, all of them, they would congregate in the house of the deceased and they would raise their voices. And even if they become angry upon you, but you should fear the anger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So the most you should do is go, visit them, give the condolences and leave. Because the people who struggle the most at this moment with this type of condolences are the family of the deceased.